Hey girls, it's Saturday morning. I figured I would just do a little weekend vlog. Ron and I are downtown going to the farmer's market like we do every Saturday. We'll go get our coffee. And apparently it's Christmas in July because we were just walking by a store and a lady wished us Merry Christmas and we're currently passing women wearing uh, Santa hats. So there's always stuff going on down here that we don't even know about, but here we just take you along. ignore the mess around me I've got a lot of straightening and organizing and like unboxings and stuff to do today but I wanted to share my little like morning outfit of the day it's now like one o'clock we ended up going to Publix after the market but I'm wearing this one shoulder tank I've definitely shared this in a try on um, but and as always everything will be linked below that I share but I love this little stretchy top comes in a bunch of colors and then these are my Goldie shorts I've been wearing them a lot lately these are the D shorts and then my go-to Tory Burch patent millers love them and then i was wearing my lululemon crossbody bag uh belt bag also which as of right now it's like completely sold out but it keeps going like in and out of different colors and i feel like they've got to bring it back they have this new bag called like the clean lines bag which i'll also link below for you but it's already only available in like one color like olive green but yeah, I've got such a mess around me today. I'm planning on like doing a little closet cleanse, posting things to Poshmark. I've got some things to unbox, so I'm sure I'll share some of that with you girls. But just always want to show the outfit. Oh, and then I am wearing Kendra Scott jewelry, which is pretty much the only jewelry I wear besides watches. Um, these are just a pair of hoops. And then this necklace, this heart necklace is one of the necklaces I wear all the time. But I just love Kendra Scott jewelry. All right, girls, it has been quite a few hours and since I was on here. I think it's like six o'clock. Um, I basically have just spent the day like filming. I was trying to batch some content, like filming some reels, doing stories on Instagram, and I'm trying to like start to film stuff for TikTok, but TikTok is confusing to me. Like, I'm not really like people basically put up like pictures and then they just put words and it doesn't necessarily it's like when they originally took the video or picture they weren't going to use those words I don't know so I'm still trying to figure out like what I'm going to do over there I'm not really one to do like funny things I think I just probably need to do styling um and I wouldn't really care except that just seems like TikTok it has been like the thing for a couple years now and I'm just always like oh what if Instagram is like suddenly gone um 
you know, maybe I should have a following on TikTok, TikTok as like a backup. I don't know. But I was going to just share a couple things that have like come in lately. I was planning on like doing a little mini closet cleanse today and posting things to Poshmark and I haven't because it just takes a lot of time to like film random things. But my Steve Madden pink booties came in. I'm so excited for them. I know it's July and in all reality, I probably won't actually get to wear them till October, but I always buy boots in the sale. And this is like the only pair I got this year. I'm not planning on buying any more because I have so many boots, but maybe as it gets closer to um, fall, I'll do a video on like my boot collection or I'll definitely do like styling videos, things like that. But Right now I feel like it's just a little bit too soon because no matter where you live, I don't think you're wearing any booties yet. And then I also got in the um, this the gray top shop like blazer coat. And I swore when I tried it on in the store, I tried it on in the four and it was fine. But now it's way too big. So I'm actually going to... Well, it's currently out of stock, but if it comes back in stock in a two, then I'm going to get it in the two because the four is just way too big. There's just too much space. I don't know. I don't know why in store I thought it was okay and now it's not. Um, what else? Like the only things close to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. Nothing really exciting. Luckily, it stays light for a couple more hours, um, but I don't know. I think Ron's going to start making dinner soon. We had thought about going out tonight, but again, because of the house, we're trying to, or not. It's horrible, because sometimes when I've talked on stories and on here, I have to remember what I've said, but um, just with our whole like house situation, <laughs> which... Someday I'll do a whole video talking about that, maybe, if anybody cares. Um, but yeah, so we're trying to, like, go out less. I'm trying to not buy as much. We're actually, like, budgeting. And I know it sounds horrible, but, like, we just haven't had to budget in years. And, like, we just don't have kids, so it's a lot easier to kind of just, like, do what we want. Um, but with building a house, we're going to have to be a little bit more like conscious of where we're spending money so with that being said we usually would go out on a Saturday night and we're not so that's okay um probably take Shay for a walk later he's like on the bed currently fake sneezing at me because he does that when he wants something <laughs> and that's it nothing exciting I say it in every vlog how it's like not going to be very it's funny because the weekends that I do a lot like I don't vlog and I usually tend to vlog the weekends when I'm not doing anything, so then I always feel like they're boring. Tomorrow, we're going to salt yoga, which I think the last time I did a vlog was when we went to salt room yoga, besides that Nordstrom vlog. So we're doing that. We do that once a month. And then we're going over to my parents for a barbecue. So, like, I won't vlog there because they don't want to be on it. Um, so probably going to end up being pretty short. But I am. Like, I think I've said before, Shabby. Come on, jump down. It's okay. Come here. Want to come say hi? Jump down. He's just looking at me. Like, he can jump down, but he won't move. Um, yeah, so about actually a month from now, we'll be in California. We're going to do a trip where we go from San Diego to San Francisco. So I'll definitely be bringing you girls along for that. Still, I'm looking for any wrecks because literally, like, we fly into San Diego. We're there for three days. I have my cousin's wedding. And then we're going to be driving for a week to San Francisco and we fly out of San Francisco. But I have like nothing planned as far as the stops in between. So I've been saving a lot of things on Pinterest. But any recommendations for anywhere to go like along the Pacific Coast Highway there, let me know. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's still just like growling at me. Shabby, jump down and come here. So strange because if I were to get up and walk out of the room, then he would jump off the bed. But because I'm in here, he's like, wants me to pick him up. I don't know. Oh, oh, are you gonna jump in your bed? 
yeah, so that's pretty much like the weekend in a nutshell. We actually did go out last night. We went out, we usually go to happy hour on Friday and then we went to this newer place that's open up downtown that has live music. But of course I didn't start vlogging yesterday. Shay, this is ridiculous. Hey, what is wrong? What's wrong, dogs? Here. You're being so silly. You want to say hi? Let's say hi. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we are. You want to say hi? He has no concept, but this is a little Shay. <laughs> because it's after six, he probably wants to go for a WALK, but it's so hot out. Like, it's just so hot. It doesn't actually ever stop being hot. It's just that the sun goes down. So this time of year, like, I'm sure it's like 86 degrees out. And it's interesting because I know, like, it's hotter other places. Like, there are places that it's like 95, 100 degrees, but it's the humidity here. Like, it's so humid. I literally take him out to pee and I'm sweating in like 30 seconds. And I actually don't sweat that easily, but it's just so, so humid. Got these, like, big boxes behind me. Um... Ron got a couple things in and so he gave me some big boxes in case usually I have quite a few like Poshmark sales on the weekend so I like to like keep the boxes see if I need them but then also I might put more stuff in a box for thread up but I have to say so the first time I did thread up I got these like bags from Athleta where you fill the bags and then you get credit for Athleta and I sent those in like one for me and one for my mom and it was instant where we got the credit and then since then I think I've sent in I want to say like five boxes of our stuff and nothing like only one box has even been processed and then it's like when this stuff sells we'll get the money but then they give people so much time to return it so you have to wait till the return period is over and I'm just wondering why like that's the case because I just sent in my own boxes versus when I did it through the Athleta bags it was instant so I guess if you do I guess if you do it through a store where you're getting a store credit they'll process it a lot quicker I'm guess I, unless it was just my timing, but so it's like I'm thinking of maybe just sending a, another box or two because these are like bigger boxes um, of thread up stuff. But then I'm like, oh, I won't actually get anything for six months. But at least the stuff gets out of here, and then anything they don't want, they just donate. So I don't know. I may be doing that. All right, well, I'm going to go downstairs and see if Ron wants to take this guy for WALK with me, or I might just have to take him by myself if Ron's going to cook dinner. So maybe I'll see you later. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. I don't really know. <laughs> Good morning, girls. It's Sunday. Uh, we did just end up going for a walk last night. It was so hot. Um... We basically just walked to our lot and back, but it was so humid. Ron had to carry Shay quite a few times, and um, we got home, we had dinner, and we just watched TV. We've been watching this show called Severance, which I like going into shows actually not knowing anything about them. Um... I don't know, because I... Same thing with, like, a book. I hate reading, like... Um, the synopsis because I don't want to like know too much um, but it's an interesting show we finished the first season that's all that's out right now and it's it's definitely one of those shows that just kept getting better with every episode um, yeah I just what time is it I think it's like I think it's like maybe like 7 15 something like that um, Made my coffee. I always start my day out with coffee. I just, I don't know. I just get very excited to get up and make my coffee. It's one of those things that I just couldn't give up. I could, right? Like when people say they couldn't give things up. Well, yes, I could. I could, you could do anything. Um, but I don't want to. I enjoy coffee. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the game plan today is pretty much salt room yoga. We'll have to leave here a little bit before 11, class is at 11.30. And then um, it's a 90 minute class. By the time we get back, it will be close to two. 
and then we're gonna, we told my parents we'd be over at three. My dad's gonna barbecue up some uh, barbecue chicken, which I love. We'll probably just hang by the pool. And that's pretty much the plan. Shay is uh, just had his breakfast and now he's looking at me to help him jump up on the bed. But yeah, just going to drink my coffee and the morning I kind of like post some Instagram links, things like that. And I'll see you girls later. Hey girls, I'm ready for salt yoga. I wear this Amazon tank all the time. If you guys are new to following me, you've definitely seen it. It's definitely like a Lulu lemon align dupe. I have it in two colors. I should probably get more. Um, I wear it in a small and then these are also from Amazon. They are the crazy yoga butter lux leggings and I size down to an extra small in them but also a great lululemon dupe and then I'm just wearing my Tory Burch Millers um I do need to do some lint rolling on my pants the lint roller that I use off of Amazon it's gonna be hard for you guys to like see Ooh, see the lint but I have two of these, one I keep in my work bag and one I just keep in my drawer, which is great. It's funny though, because in the salt room, I'm gonna get so much salt on me, so these will get covered anyways. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then I usually grab a sweatshirt because it gets cold in there. Right, we just got back from my parents. It's been a day. I think I stopped here showing you my outfit for the salt room, but I shared the salt room in another vlog, so you can check that out if you want to see the actual salt room. We got there like just in time, so I didn't even bring the camera in. So we pretty much got home, changed, went to my parents, hung out by the pool. My dad made barbecue chicken. It's really nice. It's nine o'clock. We're just getting home, and I was like, oh, I better pop on here just to say bye. Um, yeah hope you guys have a good day night evening whenever it is that you're watching this and i'll see you soon